I bought an entire box of Yu-Gi-Oh! Blister Packs. What's up guys, we're back with a blister filled video. Before we do that, we have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away this Dimension Force booster box. I think this could be the last one from the case that I've been giving away. Could be one more, I'm not really sure actually, but all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you want to see out of these blisters. And do you think we can make our money back? Because that's the goal for this video. A viewer hit me up and he had a bunch of blister packs for sale and I think it was around $250. So we're going to be opening up all these random blisters of recent sets, hoping that we can make $250 back. It's going to be really difficult, but we'll have a count up on the screen to see if we can do it but i'm really excited because you guys know the fun thing about blisters is random ratios it could be great could be awful could just be average but you never really know and that's what's so exciting about it because we could pull like two starlights out of here because it's just completely random and i hope we do that that would be insane have you ever thought that you don't get enough respect has your opponent at locals called you a buy or an easy win Today, that all changes when you follow in the footsteps of Sir Ruxin and become a Lord or Lady with established titles. Established titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping with global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom, that is a tongue twister, where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Imagine the fear your opponents will feel when they're dueling a Lord of Yu-Gi-Oh! Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelson, Scotland, and a unique plot number. And an official certificate with a crest. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot, within a few minutes of walking distance. Depending on how many of you become lords and ladies, we can build a Ruxin 34 kingdom. They plant a tree with every order and work with global charities such as One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. You could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on your credit card, plane tickets, etc. You can even get it on dating profiles. It makes an amazing last minute gift. Christmas is coming up. Established Titles is actually running a Black Friday sale right now. Plus, if you use the code Ruxin, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Ruxin to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Thanks, Established Titles, for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, let's get started. There are a bunch of blister packs. We have Dawn of Majesty, so pretty exciting because we could pull the Stardust. Also, this is going to be a longer video because you guys know when we open blister packs, it takes a while to open each pack because you got to go through the blister, then you got to get to the pack. Plus, we have, I think, around like 40, 50 packs. I don't remember the exact amount. Let's see if we can get something good. One, two, three, four. It's going to be tough to get our money back. These are basically being bought around like Walmart prices, so not too crazy. Uh, we've got the Carpranomnica. We got the Gunkin Sioux ship. I haven't opened Dawn of Majesty much recently. We've got the different dimension, the Jar of Generosity. What if we got a Stardust here? Like after all the times, we opened 13 cases. This is a two-year-old set at this point, though, which is pretty crazy. We're one and a half or something like that. Link Apple, let's go. The legend has been pulled. Link Apple right off the bat. We will take that, guys. That is exciting. Let's go to our Brothers of Legend pack. There is a decent amount of variety. I'd probably say there's like five or six different sets here. So we've got potential to pull some cool stuff like the Red Eyes Dragoon, which would be pretty amazing. Even if we pull the Leviathan, which is, you know, not a great card, it would still be pretty awesome. We have Penguin Sword. Very cool. Numbers Protection. The Auroboros Sage. Red Eyes Fusion, that's a good card, but uh, not really used anymore. And ooh, we've got a Stealth Kragen Spawn Secret Rare. All right, next up, the Legendary Synchro Storm. If there's a time to pull a Baron, it's now, because it has not been reprinted yet. So now's the time to get the, uh, I think it's around 80 bucks now. It's not quite as expensive. I think at one point it was 120, but still, 80 bucks would be a pretty nice uh, help to our cost of this video. Let's see if we can pull something like the Baron. That's really the only card we want. I mean, even the Ghost is not that great. So we're really looking for that. Lyrilis, Speed Lift, Speed Roid, and the Speed Roid Duplicate. All right, so not that time, but that's okay because it's a double blister. You get two packs per blister with Synchro Storm because out of Legendary Duelist, they only have five cards per pack, so they put two in each blister, which is cool. Tornado Dragon, Lyrilis, Cobalt Sparrow, and the Promenade Thrush. That's a super rare. And the Pennant of Revolution. Very nice. So we got a super. That's not guaranteed. So not too bad. On to Burst of Destiny First Edition. Look at this weird crimping they got here. It's like it crimped fine, but like the it's supposed to all be silver and it kind of like fades off there. It's very weird. Let's see if we can pull something big. I mean, the DPE, I think now is around 30 bucks or something like that for the original 30 something. So it's not like that insane, but it's still a DPE. It's still pretty good. There's still the Starlight Stratos, which we have never pulled. I'd be down to start pulling it now. I'm going to start pulling it you know start pulling it and then pull it laundry trap we got the beach or bristle roller detonation code your sartic drytron we got the giant starfall gungan ship sharo class carrier 
Break the Destiny, very nice. Heritage of the Light, and for one reason, Rabina, which is actually a pretty good card. I don't think it's too valuable, but good for the Flunderese, which is still a really strong deck right now. Back to Dawn of Majesty. Let's go. I think we have Grand Creators as well coming up, so we have not opened that yet. Grand Creators has a lot of nice hits in terms of the collector rares and stuff, so the archetypes in that set, they started off like not that popular, like when they very first came out, it wasn't that expensive or anything. They all aged super well, or at least most of them. Here we go. Amaze Attraction, Viking Vortex. Let's get that Stardust. Baby Mud Dragon, Stardust Trail, Master Diplo Man, Magic Unlocking, Glacier Aquamador, the Retrain of Aquamador, which is crazy. Uh, two Toads with one Sting, which Aquamador I think has had two retrains. I think it had one like Soul of the Duelist too. We got Gunkin Su Ship Shari, classic, and. Ooh, a super rare Gizmek Arakami, the Hallbringer Hog. Hailbringer or ha Hailbringer Hog? Okay, Hailbringer Hog. Cool name. Cool name, but also kind of random. Let's go back to, or not back. This is our first Grand Creators pack. Let's see what we can get. Seven cards in this pack. Collector rare potential. Can't really do a pack trick on this one. We'll just go straight through it. We got the uh, Punk Rising Carp. Insector Sword. I think next will tell us if we have anything. Xyz Universe. So yeah, so we got an Xyz Universe. Super rare. Nothing too crazy there. Let's go back to a Brothers of Legend pack. What else is good in here? I mean, there's like other decent cards. There's like the Magician Souls is in here. I remember the uh, Dusty Gold. Why is this sticking to my hand? <laughs> Get off my hand. All right. A Dusty Gold. There's Malicious Bane. But they're not very expensive anymore. They got really cheap. Shooting Star Dragon. That's actually a really cool reprint. Allure of Darkness. That's a good Ultra Rare. One of the best. Uh, the Underworld Squire. So we got a little Monarch action going there. Zexal Catapult. And... Starving Venomy Dragon. A very nice secret rare. Cool. Okay, we have a bunch of Grand Creators like stacked up right here. So I'm just going to open another one, even though we just opened one. Let's see. Will we get a Collector Rare in this video? Will we get any high rate? A Collector Rare, Starlight Rare, anything like that. Goki Pole. I hope we do. The Jory Punk and Psycho Wielder. Okay, we at least got an Ultra Rare here. That's what this is saying. Exo Sister Irene. I think it comes next. I could be wrong. Let's do like this. All right. Let's do this. All right, what are we going to get? Come on, give us something good. Ooh, a ride of Aramis here. That is good. It's not the collector rare, which would be like 100 something dollars. Last I checked, this was 60, but I know Brave is not quite as popular, so it might be down to like 40-ish or something like that. But this is still a great pull. Definitely our best pull so far. So that's an awesome Grand Creators pack. That will help our value a little bit. So now let's see if we can pull that Baron. So even with Baron and Wright, we'd be like halfway to our value. So it is going to be tough. Like we're going to need like a Starlight or, you know, just a bunch of really good pulls. So maybe back-to-back -back Barons here. Is that possible? Probably not but you know i guess i, I guess it's possible but probably unlikely horse stilts noble knight joan let's go we got the chanbara the speed roid terror top and the speed roid duplicate so nothing out of that one but that's okay we got two packs in the blister come on guys believe in the comments let me know if you believe we're gonna do it we got the horse stilts recital starling we got the liberty at last and here we go Cool bold hedgehog. All right, nothing too crazy there. The kind of Drake. Okay. All right, fine. Next one will be great. We have another Grand Creators. Wow, the Grand Creators are all like bunched up in one spot. We already got it right, so I'm not really expecting to get too much. But as you guys know, it's random ratios. We could just pull straight up another right right here. Right, right here. That is crazy. Exo Sisters. All right, will we get another foil here? I will get another foil, but will it be, you know, not a super? It will not be a super. Whoa, okay. Psychic Tracker. Hidden Armory, these are a little shifted, these names. Whew, let's go. Come on, Collector Rare. Ooh, Exo Sister Michaelis. I think this is an okay card. I mean, it's not a Collector Rare, but I think it's a pretty decent Ultra Rare. So back-to-back -back Ultras out of Grand Creators is really good because you guys know there's only three per box in those sets. So pretty rare to get two in a row out of two packs. All right, one we haven't opened yet, I don't think. Battles of Chaos. We have opened quite a bit of Battles of Chaos on the channel. Of course, all these sets we've opened a bunch of, but Battles of Chaos is pretty cool. It has the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon and it has the... Um, this guy, the Master of Chaos, Ultra Rare. It has the uh, Illusion of Chaos. What was the re the reprint one? Was it the Dark Magicians? That was it, right? All right, let's go. We got the Ice Shade Erosion. Very cool. The Groza, Tyrant of the Thunder. We got the Smile Potion. Smile! My Utent Mutant. Silver Vine Sinry. Fire Opal Head. Ghost Trick Siren. The Neroy, the Dream Mirror Traitor. And a Nordic Smith Evaldi. All right, nothing too crazy in that booster pack right there. All right, the more Grand Creator. Let's go back to uh, Synchro Storm. Let's do that. We have a few Synchro Storms to get out of the way. And by get out of the way, I mean pull the best card, Baron. And we're going to pull the Goat. Actually, I think this is the kind of set you're supposed to say, oh, this set is awful. And then you pull the best card, kind of like we did with Code of the Duelist many, many times. Speed Lift, 
Take it to Borg. We've got the Recital Star. I don't know what I just said. And Cobalt Hedgehog and the Pennant of Revolution. I feel like we've pulled those cards a lot. Synchro Storm. Let's go. Come on, baby. Legendary Duelist. Be legendary. All right, let's do this because it's just a regular rare at the back. It's a Totem Bird. Okay. Cool Pennant of Gildos. That was a foil in like an old 5Ds pack, I think. Something like that. Noble Knight Joan. Tornado Dragon. Speedroid Wheel. Okay, just a super rare. But that is not guaranteed, so it's actually not bad. I always forget with those that that is not guaranteed. I just, let's make this mix this up a little bit. Let's go with the Dawn of Majesty. These are not like really mixed up very well, so it's just a bunch of random packs. Like it's like the same pack over and over at the top of the stack I have here. We don't really want to do the same pack over and over. Majestic Absorption. Beauty Trooper Fly Sting. Doom Bearer Psychopompus. Retain the Heavenly General. Suship Shari. The Conan Shayashi. We've got the Dispatch Perazi. We've got the Supper Shabbat to Spot and <laughs> Beach Trooper Scale Bomber. Man, that was a, a mouthful of a lot of those cards. All right, we do have more Burst of Destiny. I think we've only opened one of these, so let's grab one of these and see what we can get. Burst of Destiny. Will it be a Starlight Stratos? You gotta believe. One, two, three, four. I believe we can pull a Starlight out of here. We've got Laundry Trap, Beach Trooper Assault Roller, Detonation Code, or Sartic Drytron. We've got the Giant Starfall. Shuship Shari, Break the Destiny, Heritage of the Light, and... Oh, let's go! Destroyer, Phoenix, Enforcer has been pulled! Yeah, I think it's only like a 30-ish dollar card now, but like 30-ish dollars is still really good. That's like our second best pull behind right. I'm assuming if I know the price is right, which I may not, which even though I have the series, guess the price. I still don't know the prices, which you guys should check out if you haven't seen it. All right, that's a pull right there. That is a pretty good pull. Grand Creators is up next. I am very happy with a DPE and a right pull. I mean, some of the best cards that have come out in like the last year. So we'll definitely take that, which actually I think DPE, I mean, Burst of Destiny might've been October of last year, which is over a year at this point, which is insane. All right, Exo, so there's no way we get a foil this time. No way. Neshawari Surprise. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is actually a good card, though. Nice super rare. Getting punk cards is really not bad. They're very solid archetype. I don't know if they're great right now because of all the, uh, you know, tier elements and stuff like that, which has kind of made everything bad, but it was good for a really long time, or a, a long time since it came out, but let's go. Legendary Duelist. Let's see what we can get. Can we get the Baron Rush Warrior? We've already gotten the best card out of Burst, best card out of Grand Creators. Now we just need the Baron. All right. Oh, okay. It's an ultra wrong one. The Sa Sage de Flor. I don't think that's how you say that. Saj, Sage. I don't know. Ultra rare. Let's open the next one. Can we get back to back ultras? Get another Baron? Or can we get the Ghost Shirt? I mean, the Ghost Shirt would be cool, even though it's worth less. I'd still be happy about it. Synchro Dilemma, Speedroid Terror Top, Explorer, Horse Stilts, and the Necro Floor. Okay, nothing too crazy there. That's fine, though. That's fine. Got a lot of packs to go. We got another Battle of Chaos. Not Battles of Chaos, Battle of Chaos. I like to say battles when it's battle. Let's see if we can pull a nice card out of here. There's a lot of nostalgic throw. Oh, well, of course we got to remember the Dark Magician card can be in here as well. So that might, we might put it like in the pack trick to the front. Smoke Mosquito, the DDD Headhunt, Floor Dino. We got the Agent of Destruction Venus, Clear New World, Dynamorphia Brute, Doll Monster Bear Bear, Dimensional Conjurer, and... A super rare Dinomorphia reversion. Okay, I think that's guaranteed. So nothing too insane. We do have Grand Creators back at it again. Can we pull ourselves a collector rare out of here? A punk card, a right, water enchantress, you know, any of those cool ones. Let's see, we've got Castell, the Sky Blaster, Musketeer, Rux, and Special Right to the Exo Sister Ellis. We ruined that one. Okay, we got another more punk support in there and in Zectors, which everybody forgot was even in there. All right, let's get back to Burst of Destiny. The Destiny has been burst. We've already pulled DPE. Now it's time for Starlight Stratos. I believe that it will happen. I believe. One, two, three, four. Do you believe in the comments? Let me know that we're going to get the Stratos. Magic Key Locking. Starry Knight Orbital. Drytron. Brave Drive. Break the Destiny. Heritage of the Light. Magic Key Battle. Abyss Keeper. And a Supernatural Danger Zone. All right. I wasn't even sure if that was the foil. So I was like, eh, maybe this is it. Maybe it's not. We haven't opened a, brother, a Brothers pack in a while. I think we only have like four of these. So one of the last couple we have. Let's see if we can pull that Destiny Dragoon. It's not Destiny. I wanted to say Destiny and Dragoon. That's a different Dragoon. How about just the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon? We'll pull that. Starlight Rare. Let's go. We have the Thought Ruler Arch. I actually needed this for like an Edison deck. So that's funny. Hidden Fangs of the Revenge. Of Revenge. Number 39 Utopia with the weird artwork. Okay. Wind up Arsenal as in Mayo and 
a dragon roid. All right, dragon roid. I remember getting the, one of these with the super foil bleeds. They had a bunch of foil bleed cards in the set for some reason. All right, Donomat, this is going to be a long video. This is going to be at least 20 plus minutes, I would say, probably 25. So I uh, hope you guys are sitting back enjoying it, having fun, because sometimes I like to do those longer videos, you know, throw the, mix those in with like the more 15 ish minute videos, one, two, three, four, because, you know, I know a lot of you guys appreciate the long videos. I personally love long videos, so I like to throw them in every once in a while. Magic E Duo, Cosmic Slicer, Stardust Trail, and I'm, I'm gonna not going to let you down. We're going to get a starlight at the end of this. I, I can't promise that, but I'm going to try the dimmer synthesis. Slower swallow. OK, and the night ends administrator with that kind of looks like a ghost rare. What do we got next? Let's go synchro storm. This might be our last synchro storm, but I mean, who's going to miss it? To be honest, it's really not a great set. This set is the worst ever made. Terrible. Not a single good card in here. We will never pull anything good out of synchro storm. We're trying the strategy. Is it going to work? Speed Roy Marble Machine. Takum Takum Bori, the Rush Warrior, double yo-yo. We told you, terrible set, really bad set. Last pack of this really awful set. Let's see what we're gonna get. We have Sapphire Swallow, Red Eyes Dice, Warrior, Speed Lift. It didn't work, strategy didn't work. I, I was hoping to jinx the Baron out, but it did not happen. All right, Grand Creators. Wow, that was quite the opening of a blister. It just flew out. Let's see what we can get this time. You just got to believe this has been a fun opening so far. I like opening some of these recent sets, you know, just a bunch of them sometimes. I didn't need to do that. This is a Grant Creators pack, so I don't know what's going to happen now. Uh, Insect Imitation, Armory Call, Insector Centipede. OK, I think this means we didn't get anything. Ladybug and Exosister. All right. Yeah, that's what I thought it meant. But I do enjoy opening these new sets. It's fun sometimes when we're not just like mass opening and doing some blister openings. It's a little bit more fun or at least not more fun, but a different kind of fun, if you know what I mean. Battles of Chaos. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Smile Potion, Myocent Mutant, S-Force Lapswell, Maple Maiden, Ghost Trick Siren, Nero the Dream Mirror Trader, Place, Ghost Trick Shot, and Dark Dimension Soldier, the DD Soldier, very cool. Man, there's a lot more bursts than I thought, which is pretty cool. So let's see if we can pull something big out of here. There's some good cards out of burst, so let's see if we can grab them. Let's see if we can get that Stratos. Can we get it? We have the Fangly, the Soldier Palm, Acti, Sarayo, the Recoil, Suship Uni, Night Flight, Magical Cylinders. I can't pull this card. Sign it, Crosswipe. Oh, Floundries and Snull. It's a secret rare, but it's the one you don't want. It always seems to be the secret rare that we pull. We did pull, of course, you know, the DPE. But I feel like I, whenever I pull DPE, I pull the Snull as well to like counteract it. That card is not good. All right, Battles of Chaos time. Will we get the Dark Magician in here? I'd say I would love to get pull that again. That'd be really cool. The Dark Magician card that is randomly inserted the 25th anniversary intrusion. Great double casted. We got a Ruxin special, the Diplos, Skilled Brown, Rock Scales, Doll Happiness, Sinry, and the White Relic of Dogmatica. I do like the look of the ritual Dogmaticas, but I don't think they're any good. So that's unfortunate. More bursts. There's a lot more bursts than I thought. Like I thought there was only a couple and there's like five in a row right here. So that's cool. Let's see if we can pull another secret. We've already pulled two secrets out of bursts, which is pretty crazy. Let's make it a Starlight pull to add to that. Danger Disturbance Disorder. Night Sword Serpent, Brave Drive, Florida Reason Stree, Penguin Cleric, Dog Mary, Giant Starfall, Class Carrier. Oh, and a Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon. It just got a reprint, unfortunately, I think in the same rarity, but this is actually a very good card for the, uh, what is that called again? The, uh, I just forgot. The Branded Archetype, there we go. I totally forgot about that for some reason, but that card was really, really good for a little bit. It's like burns you. I think it's the one that burns you every time you play a card. So or like use an effect or something. It's very, very good. One, two, three, four. And very, very annoying. I'll tell you that. Mad Hacker. The Doll Monster Miss Madchen. This is Battles of Chaos. Could be a Dark Magician. Ruxin Special again. Top share. The Nauru Aris. The Soul Sweeper. Tribe Drive. Epsilon. And the Dictator of D. Super rare. Very cool card. That used to be over a dollar, so it might be now still. I'm not really sure. Let's go back to Grand. Wow, there's something going on with that one. Grand Creators. There was something on the blister at some point. It is now not on there anymore. Just a big scuff. Can we get a Collector Rare? So far, no Starlights, no Collector Rares, which is to be expected. But I am hoping to pull one in this video. Ladybug, Punk Rising, and a Magical Warrior. Okay, so nothing in that one. Look how the shifted the names are. It's kind of crazy. All right, Burst of Destiny, back to it. Pretty good pulls. We have an Ultra Rare and two Secret Rares out of Burst. Still looking for that uh, Starlight. We have pulled a Super, of course, as well. So all we're looking for is a Starlight, and we'll be happy. One, two, three, four. Come on, Stratos, Ursartic Drytron, Threshold Borg, Sword Soul Blackout, pretty good card. Transonic Bird, Heritage of the Light, Flip Frozen, Sonic Tracker, Wonders and Token. 
And Meowsclick. We've got a super rare Meowsclick. Honestly, Meowsclick sounds like a Pokemon. It sounds like a Pokemon name. It looks like one. All right, let's do another burst because we have more than I thought we had. Burst of Destiny. Bless us with a great secret rare. We have Danger Disturbance Disorder. Blackout again. Night Sword Serpent. Brave Drive. Sonic Tracker. Outstanding Dog Mary. Ice Shade Tenola. Break the Destiny. And Ultimate Flagship. Ursatron. Very nice. Let's go back to battles of chaos i think at this point our value is probably our, i don't i don't know if we're even to halfway yet so we're gonna need something big to actually make our value up like actually get back but i think halfway honestly isn't too bad for opening packs it's really not my Tint newton we got the s force Lap lapswell the maple maiden smart bird of perfection go strict shot conjure into the line is that a pot of greed i never noticed that brand of disciple and vampire fascinator we've got a super rare there very nice all right back to burst of death i think we're down to like 10 more packs or something like that so we are making our way through them for the most part we've had some pretty decent pulls and we pulled like two of the best cards in their respective sets which is pretty amazing but we haven't had any crazy high rarity cards yet we have reptilian nami laundry trap the beach river soul roller detonation code night flight magical cylinders sign at cross wipe Sword Soul Assessment and Double Disruptor Dragon. Pretty cool card, actually. Double Disruptor Dragon. Looks really nice. All right, Battles of Chaos. Then I think we're going to do another Dawn of Majesty. We have a couple more of those. And I think we have one more Brothers of Legend in here somewhere. Then a couple others. Let's see if the battles can give us the Dark Magician, which I don't even know what that thing's valued at anymore. It was like a little bit over 100 last I looked, but that's been a while. I go to Serpent Strike, Smoke Mosquito, Mad Hacker, Doll Monster, Skilled Brown Magician. Doll Ronster, we got the Rock Scales, Ghost Trick Shot, and Ultimate Fusion. It's a blue eyes card, but I think it's only like 50 cents. So nothing too crazy there, but we'll take it. Let's go back to Dawn of Majesty. Let's see if we can get ourselves a Stardust Dragon. Let's do it, baby. Stardust Starlight Rare. How many times have we opened this set? Many, many times. And it was fun every single time. Let's see if we can get that Starlight, especially when we pulled the Starlight. That was really fun two, three, four. One of the best times of our career, I think. So we have a uh, Gunkin Sushi ship. We got the Sushi ship. We got the finishing move. Back-to-back -back Sushi ships tragedy. Unlocking the Chronomaly. Arrow picks three. And oh, I think this is one of the worst ultra rares. The frog from Naruto. Very nice. I feel like Donna Majesty has the most tongue twisters out of the, the names of the cards. It's insane. Like every single card, I'm very confused on what it's called. One more, oh, not one more burst of destiny, but another burst of destiny. I think we might have another one after this. <sighs> Stratos, come on. We've got the Starry Knight Orbital or Starting Drytron, Braves Drive. We've got the Fingly. We've got the Break of the Destiny, Magic Key Battle, Abyss Keeper, Heritage of the Light. And a magic key spirit of a pot or two. All right, Battles of Chaos batch. Give us a batch of collector rares. No, wait, no, not collector rares. Starlight rares. Collector rare not in this set. I was thinking of Grand Creators. My trash can is full of blister packs and it's going everywhere. One, two, three, four. Because blister packs take up a lot of room. All right, we have the Shining Pinchphilia, the Headhunt, the Dogmaticabre. We've got the Diplos, Strife, Sonic, Eudora Fate, Clear World, and... White Relic of Dogmatica again. No big deal. We're back to Grand Creators. I think now we're down to seven packs, so I might have been wrong about 10 earlier. I think I said 10 like 10 ago, so it's been a while, but let's see what we can get. The Punk Rising Carp. We've already pulled two great cards out of here. Let's see if we can pull another one. Zek Caliber and the Wandering Griffin Rider, which is actually a pretty good card. Wandering Griffin Rider is a very solid super rare. You have to use it with the Brave Engine or whatever, so not bad. All right, we are down to six packs. It looks like we only have one repeat, which is two Battles of Chaos. So we'll open this one up first. See if we can pull the Dark Magician 25th Anniversary. I believe we can do it. All you gotta do is believe, guys, and then you just gotta do it. Here we go, Battles of Chaos, first edition. Never got an unlimited, so, I mean, specifying first edition doesn't really matter, but top share. Ogdogan Serpent, we got the Erosion, I Cannot Speak, Mad Hacker, Doll Happiness, the Neroy, Epsilon the Magnet Warrior, Kaiser the Hidden Star, and Nordic Smith Evaldi. More supers. All right, I'm hoping not to just fade into obscurity here and just pull a bunch of the same stuff over and over, you know, a bunch of supers. Let's end it with something good. Brothers of Legend. Okay, this guarantee will not pull us a super because there are no supers in this set. So that's why we're opening this one up. Brothers of Legend, get us the Dragoon Starlight Rare. I believe that you can do this. Here we go. We've got the Rank Up Magic Argent Chaos Force. We got the Gadaria, the Mystery Dust Kaiju. The Horse of the Floral Knights Ultra. Karibo, very nice. That's a pretty cool Karibo. And the Altergeist, the Alert, just a secret rare that is probably not that great. 
All right, Burst of Destiny final pack. Bring us the Starlight Stratos. I believe that you can do this. I believe in you, Burst of Destiny. You will bless us with something great to end it. We've already gotten DPE, but let's just keep it up. Let's pull something amazing. Reptilian Yami, Laundry Trap, Beatrooper Assault Roller, Detonation Code, Heritage of the Light, Flip Frozen, Cyanet Crosswipe, Cyanet Cascade, and a stained glass of light and dark all right very i mean awesome artwork i really like it i think it's really cool but not a great card back to the last battles of chaos we've been many packs of this today have we pulled anything good out of battles of chaos i feel like it hasn't been great to us let's see if this is the final pack this is the one that had something good in it here we go that one's a dented card one two three four let's go we've got the great double double casted something like that diplos we got a Ruxin special over the submarine tour ride we've got the shell i'm saying all the cards wrong brown magician bear bear Rock Scales, Ghost Trick Shot, and Libromancer Intervision. It's really saving it for the end. All right, we're gonna do Grand Creators because that one doesn't have as much suspense because you know, it's the third card, then you know. Let's see, Grand Creators, let's do this. 